Welcome back viewers. In this video, we are going to work on delete brand and categories. And let's start. So after update brand function here, you can see here the route of update brands. For the delete brand, I will start from here at add dot route and inside the route, I will just write that delete brand. It's a little bit long, but it's good. So now here the same thing we will do for int id and this one then we will make that method equal to post only and then here we will define that delete delete brand and parameter of parameter of for id and then here I will do first I will get that brand equal to brand dot query and get or 404 we will get that id and then i will do with post request and make it little bit tough to delete i will give the condition if request method method equal to post and then we are going to do db dot session dot delete and we will delete that brand this this variable and then we will make then db dot session dot commit and done from here and then we are going to return and redirect to the that url of admin and then we will go to here admin and before the admin we will send the message of success in the brand and here will be the brand name and brand dot name was deleted from your database and here we will give the category of success and we are done the request is not post it will be not the case request should never get and we can make this one also and the brand can't be deleted and can't be deleted and then here i will give them warning and here i will give them warning so we are done from here and now i will go to here the brand the brand is actually inside the template then admin then brand and here we have we are getting brands and categories both first i will go to inside bootstrap there i will get the model from the bootstrap and you can see here you go to bootstrap then component then here in model and the model i will choose this first model you see this one and i will just copy this all things model from with buttons also and then i will come here after tr and paste them here and here we don't need this a now a tag we don't need it i will just commit it out so you can see we change and i will put this button here inside this td and this i will give the name of this delete and then here will be i will change this name to danger and then btl sm small because my all buttons are small and then here why i put this one inside the loop because here i need the id so here i will get the id of this product then i will then i will get them by id then here i will do the brand dot id and the same id i will pass it here in model example model you can see here this is an example model so we can pass it here so now here I will do the same thing and just cut that minus and I will give it the name of brand and 
then we can see here which brain we are going to delete and here I will just make one spend tag and with class of text mm, danger and here we will give the message are you sure that you want to delete this brand and here if you wish you can pass also the name brand dot name and so then here after this one here we will what we will do here now and I will make here one form action equal to that path this path will be and here the path is url4 and here is that name of delete brand viewer pass there and then id equal to brand brand .id. and then we will close that brand here so we don't need anything else i will just come here and put this inside this and here i will make it also danger and then i will give it vdnsm and this will be delete and this will be cancel and now let's type and just run the program come to run and then debug we will run the we have here syntax error so we have to fix the syntax error here then to run suppose you are here go to localhost and then go to admin you have to log in and when you log in and an uninspected error okay so we have one syntax error so this one should be two here this should be not a button this should be submit these are the brands new brand and some other dummy brands if you go to here delete you see here we have this new brand and if you cancel nothing will happen if you delete is not allowed we should have make that here method equal to post that's why it was not allowed in default html has a default get method so now you see here the brand new brand was deleted from your database and if i go there you see this one is gone and i will go to here the secondary i will make it btn sm and the color for me i will just make it warning you can see now it's looking better and if you delete this will be deleted now we will delete the category of shirt so let's start for the category first of all i will copy this model from here and paste it here after this td and here we have to change only thing this name i will copy this name from here and paste it here and uh, then i will paste it here then paste it here and then paste here and uh, where else we need it and then i will take this button only this button from here to and here i will paste this button and again this will be category yeah. this name will be category and i will make it delete category we need this now so now i will come to here in root 
and this is add kit update kit after update kit here I will make this copy this delete brand so that we just change the name and I will copy it from here and paste it after update kit so I have to change only here this brand should be category then this should be also category I will make it category copy this category because I need this name here and here here will be also category and uh, yeah this one also should be category that's all so let's see mm, we have a syntax error so maybe somewhere here we have we didn't change this name we have to change and now if I go to run and then um, now it's running and I will go to here in category that could not build delete category dot id okay there is a b so this spelling mistake here is b there b should not be so now refresh and now we are here in category so i will delete this shirt and you can see here this name shirt and here also the mention the name of the shirt if i cancel nothing happened and if i delete the brand is not defined category name brand this name should be category and I forgot this name and now if I delete it now if I go here and if I delete the watch and you can see the watch is gone so so that's all for this video thank you very much see you in next video we will delete products from database take care bye bye